Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the second part of our retouching series. In today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to dodge and burn and then I'll show you one technique that I use when I'm doing this process. Um, if you haven't seen the first part of this series, just go through my channel and um, find it and try to watch it because it's going to be very helpful to you as you watch this particular video. Now with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and do not forget to like, comment and share this video with anybody you feel like would want to see this because um, that will help the channel to grow and um, yeah. So let's get straight into today's video. Well, dodge and bend simply means that we're going to be making adjustments to our highlights and shadows so we can create more depth and dimension in our images. And we're going to be dodging our highlights and we're going to be burning our shadows. Take note of that. And then in, in today's video, we're going to be creating our dodge and bend layers by using the curves adjustment layer. So let's um, go straight into creating our layers. Now I create my curves adjustment layers by coming down here then I click on my curves then what do I do next I go to my blending mode and I change it to screen now you can see that um, the image becomes bright now bright means that we're ready to um, dodge our image so what do you do next you click on your curves adjustment layer make sure that your um, layer mask is highlighted then we're going to be inverting this layer. So on the on the Windows PC, you press on your Control I, and then on the Mac, you press on Command I. If you notice, our, our layer mask turned from white to black. Now you should know that white reveals whatever that has been done on your layer, and then black hides whatever has been done on your layer. Now we have hidden we've hidden our highlights, which will be brought back with um, the use of a brush so next we're going to create let's just simply rename this layer to um, highlights uh, just name this to highlights yeah so now we're going to create our layer for burn so i just do almost the same thing come and create my curves layer then by this time around when i come to my blending mode I'm going to change it from instead of screen I'm going to use multiply now you see that the image becomes dark which is an indication that we can burn our image just like we did before we are going to be inverting this um, this layer too so you press on your control I or command I now what will I do next I'll just put everything in a group just like this and I'll rename it dodge and D and G for short. So now we're, our image is ready to be dodged and burned. Now I'm going to show you a trick that I use that aids me to know where exactly to burn and where exactly to dodge. How I do this is by coming down to my adjustment icon then I create a black and white layer. Now I'll play around with my reds and then I'll play around with my yellows just like this. I think this is okay now you can see that the image shows you where exactly you are supposed to dodge and where exactly you are supposed to bend let me just let me just um try to indicate it for you uh i'll just do this then now if you look carefully where i am marking with the red are the places where i'm supposed to bend just like this Now, I'm just doing this to show you what I mean by um, how the black and white layer can aid you in your dodge and burn. So now these parts that I've circled with red shows you where you're supposed to burn. And then where I'm about to circle with the white um, are the places where you're supposed to dodge. So just like this. Just like this 
Uh -huh. So um, yeah, this was just a quick one. So now you know where you're supposed to dodge and where you're supposed to bend. Let me just delete this layer. Good. So after this, I will just come to my dodge and bend folder, open it up, select my burn layer, and then come and select my brush, my um, brush. Now remember that in your brush settings, make sure your hardness is set to zero. And then, um, normally I keep my flow at one. Some people keep theirs between in the range of one and three, but I prefer to keep mine at one so that um, I don't do too much of the dodge and bend on my image. Yep, so um, I select one, come to my burn um, layer, then I increase my brush size. It depends on the image you are dodging and burning. I think this is uh, good for now. Now, um, there are so many ways of doing dodge and burn. I just start with a uh, global dodge and burn. So I'm just go ahead to do it normally. I'm just trying to show you the basics of dodge and bend. So I'll do another tutorial where we'll talk extensively on dodge and bend. So yeah, um, I have selected my bend layer. So I'll just begin to, um, and also remember that now we're about to reveal. So our layer, our color should be white because white reveals. So I'll just come over to my, um, the area I'm supposed to bend then I just begin to brush over it just like this as you can see now this is because this is a tutorial I'm not taking my time to do this but if I was doing it to uh, post on social media or doing it for a client I'll take my time to um, do this but I don't want to take too much of your time so I'm just doing this to demonstrate so this is the before and this is the after so I'll just quickly do the other parts like this like I said before take your time to dodge and burn do not rush if not you will not get a very good image so and and also take notes um, in dodging and burning, we have global dodge and burn, and we have micro dodge and burn. In this particular tutorial, I'm not um, dwelling or talking about any of them. I'm just showing you the general principle of dodge and burn. Yep. So check out my other YouTube tutorials. I'll be uploading um, another video where we will talk solely about dodge and burn. So just like this. Yep. Just paint around the, the dark portions of your image. So see the before and see the after. See the before, see the after. Now um, I'll quickly select my dodge layer then I'll begin to dodge my highlights just like this mm -hmm. like I said I'm quickly doing this so I don't take too much of the time this is just like a guide um, if you want to be good in this you have to practice you should practice almost all the time as you can see my I keep on changing the size of my brush according to the portion I'm dodging or burning my brush does not remain the same as I started with I increase the size to suit the portion that I'm dodging or burning yeah. because I'm not do, I'm not um, concentrating on um, burning only the smaller portions or dodging only the the larger portions. When you watch my micro dodge and burn tutorial, micro and um, global dodge and burn tutorial, you would learn more about this particular. 
style of tournament so let's see the before and see the after uh, see the before and see the after so um another thing i forgot to mention was um sometimes it's good to turn off your frequency separation this way you can see your image in the raw form like literally see the image how it was when the picture was taken so um because when you're doing frequency separation sometimes you tend to hide the highlights and then the shadows because of the frequency separation you've done so sometimes it's good to you know turn off your frequency separation so that you see the image in its raw form so you're able to get every single bit of your your highlights your shadows yeah so um at this point we are done with our dodge and burn please note again that this is not how i'm going to um do a dodge and burn for a client or if i want to put it out there this is just for tutorial purpose so when you're doing it yourself make sure you take your time to do it very well yep so let me turn off my guide this does a black and white and we check the before and we check the after so this is how our image looks like after a dodge and bend session and if you haven't subscribed please make sure you subscribe Comment and share this video with a friend you think might need to watch this. Also look out for the third part of this video um, in my channel. And see you in my next video. Have a great day.